Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce the nominative case. German has four cases, nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. The nominative case is used to mark the subject of the sentence, which is the person or thing performing the main action in the sentence. It is also used to mark the predicate adjective or predicate noun in a sentence. Let's take a look at all of these uses in turn. The subject of a sentence is always in the nominative case. Using the analogy of the German sentence as a stage, the subject is the main actor on this stage, the person or thing performing an action. In the sentence you see on the screen, ich sitze hier, I am sitting here, the first person singular personal pronoun ich performs the action of sitting. Therefore, it is in the nominative case and the subject of the sentence. The adverb hier simply describes the place where the action is being performed. Subjects can also be inanimate objects. In this sentence, der Computer funktioniert gut. The computer works well. The masculine noun, der Computer, performs the action of working. Therefore, it is in the nominative case and the subject of the sentence. The adverb gut simply describes the manner in which the action is being performed. Predicate adjectives are also in the nominative case. Predicate adjectives are simply adjectives that appear after a linking verb in a sentence and, in essence, provide more information about the subject. In the sentence you see on the screen, das Auto ist rot, the car is red, the neuter noun, das Auto, is the subject of the sentence and therefore in the nominative case. The adjective rot is also in the nominative case as it appears after the linking verb ist. Predicate nouns are also in the nominative case. Like predicate adjectives, predicate nouns are simply nouns that appear after a linking verb in a sentence and provide more information about the subject. In the sentence you see on the screen, ich bin Professor, I am a professor, the first person singular personal pronoun ich is the subject of the sentence. It is therefore in the nominative case. The masculine noun Professor is also in the nominative case as it appears after the linking verb bin. It may be useful for you to think about predicate nouns and adjectives in terms of an equal sign. When a linking verb appears in a sentence, then both sides of the sentence, the subject and predicate, will be in the nominative case. Finally, it is important to note that other verbs besides forms of sein, to be, can also function as a linking verb. In this sentence, ich werde Professor, I become a professor, the verb werde simply reports on the subject's change of being. Since no real action is described in the sentence, both subject and predicate are in the nominative case. In the sentence you see here, sie bleibt ruhig, she remains calm, the verb bleibt simply links the subject with a state of being. Since no real action is depicted, both the subject and predicate are in the nominative case. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The videos, scripts, and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.